So now that we've covered the basics of a purchase order, next thing we're going to do is receive a PO. And the way we receive a PO is by choosing the not received option in the top right, selecting the drop down, and choosing one of the two actions. Action number one is receive some. Action number two is receive all. Receiving some gives you the option to choose specific items that are in the PO and a specified amount of quantity for those items that are being received against the delivery. The use case for this is if you make a PO to a supplier, but they don't send everything to you in a single shipment. So you have the option to mark a few of those items from that one single shipment as received. Currently we have items not received, but once we mark receive some, the dialog will pop up here and will enable you to select one of the products or materials and then choose to receive one unit. And then you can mark the receive selected option. Now, a few things to take a note of, which you currently don't see on the menu in front of you. You'll see that this there's this little tiny part at the top called press command B to start scanning. Katana has a feature on the pro package called barcodes. So barcodes enable you to specify barcodes for your materials and products in order to scan them to be received into inventory. It's one of the, uh, one of the features that's included in the pro plan. And um, also if you're doing batch trackable goods, you can specify and assign batch tracking at this moment of receipt, which is also available on the pro plan and we'll cover in some of the pro videos. But for the time being, we'll just do the basic workflow and um, we'll do it manually and we'll receive the selected goods. So once we receive the selected goods, then the PO updates to a new status called partially received. And partially received status will move the items that have been marked as received into this new section below. And uh, what I wanna point out here about this section below is you'll notice the quantity has dropped here. That means that also the total expected quantities that would be available on your stock page for this particular item have dropped also by one, but the in-stock quantity has actually increased by one from the stock screen for the drawer knobs. And this is also created what's called a stock movement. And the stock movement is the moment in which a good is either received or taken away from inventory. And so what we've created here is an incoming stock movement for one unit of this particular item. And it has added this amount of value to our existing stock and this amount of quantity to our existing stock. Now, if you're using multi-currency, let's say, for example, on the pro plan, then uh, all of that information will be translated from the currency it was bought from into the current currency that you're using as the base currency for your business on your Katana account. So lots of different moving parts currently taking place here with this purchase order. For a partially received workflow, in the event that the customer, or sorry, the supplier has sent out only um, one unit out of the four you ordered, this is exactly the use case that it supports. Now, when it comes time for receiving the entire purchase order, you can change the partially received status to receive all status. And then that will complete the purchase order from an open state to a done state. So. A couple of things have already happened here. Firstly, on the buy screen, purchase order number two is no longer on the open list. It's presently on the done list. So the very moment that the purchase order is marked as received is the moment that it gets sent over as its received date. And this is the indicator of like when the uh, PO is completely received in its entirety. And that's the general workflow for receiving a purchase order against incoming goods.